Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe the different types of proteins found in cell surface membranes. You should also be able to describe what's meant by a glycolipid. In the last video, we looked at the fluid mosaic model of membrane structure. We saw that the cell surface membrane consists of a phospholipid bilayer. And within the bilayer, we find a number of other molecules, including cholesterol and proteins. So in this video, we're looking in more detail at the proteins that we find in cell membranes. We can divide all membrane proteins into two broad categories. These are intrinsic or integral proteins and extrinsic or peripheral proteins. Intrinsic proteins are fully embedded in the membrane from one side to the other. Because they pass right through the lipid bilayer, intrinsic proteins have got hydrophobic amino acids on the outside surface of the protein. These hydrophobic amino acids can interact with the hydrophobic fatty acid tails in the phospholipid bilayer. I'm showing you two types of intrinsic proteins here. Protein channels are intrinsic proteins, and these contain a channel running through the center. This channel is lined with hydrophilic amino acids and is filled with water molecules. Protein channels allow water-soluble molecules and ions to diffuse through. Carrier proteins are also intrinsic proteins. These can change their shape or position to transfer molecules or ions from one side of the membrane to the other. In contrast to intrinsic proteins, extrinsic or peripheral proteins do not span the membrane. Instead, extrinsic proteins are found on one side of the membrane or the other. And sometimes extrinsic proteins are attached to intrinsic proteins. Again, extrinsic proteins have a range of functions. Some play a structural role within the membrane whereas others can act as enzymes, and some are receptors for other molecules such as hormones. Okay, now many membrane proteins also contain a carbohydrate molecule attached. Scientists call these glycoproteins, and glycoproteins have a range of functions within the cell. Some glycoproteins allow cells to attach to each other to form tissue such as nervous tissue. Other glycoproteins play a role in the immune system, presenting antigens to T cells and other glycoproteins act as receptors for hormones. Carbohydrates can also be found attached to phospholipid molecules. These are called glycolipids. Glycolipids are often used when cells come in contact with each other. The glycolipids on the surface of one cell can be recognized by another cell, and this can determine whether cells come into contact. Glycolipids can also act as antigens, for example in determining your blood group. Okay, so hopefully now you can describe the role of membrane proteins and glycolipids. 